Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Can you comment in the chat box that you can hear me all well, all well and good before we get going? And for everyone joining, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe if you enjoy. And make sure to send this video to someone that needs it because I want this message to get out there. So if you haven't watched my New Earth video, the previous video I made, I will link it in the description. I'll also pop it somewhere on the screen because this kind of explains New Earth energy and what New Earth energy really is. But today I wanna to share how you can shift into New Earth, how you can shift into the new. So in order to do this, I first have to explain what New Earth is very, very briefly, even if you understand, is New Earth is the understanding that a mass awakening awakening of consciousness is happening on the planet. You can even notice this on like Instagram, social media, how much people are seeking truth, how much people are like wanting truth. And um, you'll notice Christianity is rising, organized religions are rising because everyone's just searching for some answer because life is getting kind of crazier and faster and people are like, I need the faith, I need something. So what's starting to happen is on some collective level, because if you think about the earth, it is a collective bubble. We are all in the one space together, the one field of energy. So we're all basically one as the unified earth living on earth. And so what's starting to happen is, imagine this is earth, right? You've got little souls here, you, me, your neighbor, your sister, your brother, whoever, that are starting to question the world. They're like, hmm, why am I here? What is the purpose of this life? All these are the questions. The more the collective starts to do this, the entire like frequency vibratory rate of the earth lifts it raises because if you think about a time where no one was spiritual on earth i doubt that ever happened but the collective energy so each person has um, each person has a role on the whole collective frequency of the earth so what's starting to happen right now on earth is people are starting to awaken uh children are starting to come in very wise radiant children um what's starting to happen is this frequency is raising which means that a new earth is starting to emerge and when a frequency um comes together when all these souls come together we are creating a completely new frequency, a completely new bubble, a completely new reality, which is why our external world is going to start changing a lot. And I keep saying this, oh well, no, I've only said this once, but I said it in my last video, that 2027 is going to be um, a big year, but also next year, 2024. Every time I kind of meditate on it in 2027, I see a world global strike happening of some form, like everyone on earth going on strike. But when I tuned in to my meditations and I heard the words 2024, the words that came through were the truth will be revealed or the truth will be prevailed. Like the truth will be shown on a lot of people that you may have idolized, a lot of people in the famous like music industry, Hollywood, all of this truth is going to start be revealing itself and humans are going to be like, oh, there's actually a lot of messed up stuff behind the scenes. What else are they not showing us? What else are they not like showing us? I said that twice. So that's what 2024 is about. So the whole, I think, um, frequency, the whole theme of 2024 is truth. And that means truth for you. What is your truth? Because that essentially is what will shift you into new earth. So we're going to be living in two earths, right? If you don't understand timelines, it's really the understanding that there are infinite timelines on earth. But if you think about, okay, like a great split, because it's there's going to be a great split of the old earth and the new earth. If you think about truth, truth is of new earth because you are following your sovereign truth. You are following what you believe to be true. You are following your authentic essence. The old earth was people, monkey see, monkey do, right? Everyone's just like a sheep following each other. Like, oh, well, if they have that job, I should do this job. Or if, I, if they're unfulfilled and unhealthy, that's like the norm. And I was even having this discussion with a friend the other day, like how normal it is for people to be unhealthy, unhappy in their jobs, their life. Like that's the norm in society. Like, oh, it's considered weird if you're like biohacking or like doing something outside of this narrative. And so what truth is, is you're following your own path. You're following the purpose of why you came here. Okay. This is why I offer New Earth Activation Power Sessions down below. If you want to book in a session with me, I will activate your power and your New Earth purpose. They're amazing. I've done so many since the last video. So many of you booked in. And have been getting anchors, questions, clues, um, ideas on what their purpose is and how they can move forward into this new earth with great purpose. Because having passion and purpose is one of the most important things in new earth. But anyway, getting back to it. So if you are in a state of monkey see, monkey do, you're kind of copying everyone. You're following the grain. You're kind of following what people want you to do. And you're like, no, like maybe. Okay, I'll give you an example. I, I can already hear hate comments. 
<laughs> if I suggest this, but like, let's say hypothetically, you are like um, 19 years old, and you've gone through some form of an awakening, and you're starting to see the world and your family is like drilling you to do like a college degree of some form, but you know, you don't want to do this purpose. Right. In the old earth, I think we would comply to people around us. We would comply to what they want us to do. But what I have noticed with new earth leaders, people who are stepping into new earth, people who are conscious, awakened on their spiritual practice of some form is they're kind of like rebels. They're kind of like black sheep and they will not conform to what other people want them to, but they will conform to what makes them happy, which is their truth. Because if you are not radiating and vibrating in your truth, you are not living to your fullest potential. You're not living for anything but yourself, but, but others. And that's what's really idolized in our world is we just kind of follow the, the system, but new earth is all about truth. So the first step to shifting into new earth is embodying your truth. What way do you truly want to dress? What way do you want to show up? What way do you want to speak? What's your truth? So for example, with me, just to give you an example, I noticed that I was dressing to like to fit in with like a regular fashion system when in actuality, I love I, my friends always laugh when I say this. I love dressing like a fruitcake. And what that means is I like dressing in the craziest, quirkiest colors because I know that color has energy and I know that color is a therapy. And this is also something that's been coming through my meditations a lot is that in the new age. So if you have a new earth child or you have a child with a lot of light, a lot of energy, um, the new, um, Earth color is very important and color therapy is going to skyrocket in the next 10 to 20 years even more because younger kids are going to start engaging with color. I notice frequencies I wear when I wear color, they affect me at a like intense rate because of how sensitive I am. So when you understand color is super, super important, the color you wear. Um, and so that was an example for me. I started to realize I may look kind of crazy and hippie-ish to some people, but I don't care because the color is affecting me at such a deep level. So I'm going to wear what makes me happy. But they also did a study, right, where they did a, um, like a, what is it called? Like a test to see what the highest frequency, the highest vibration, the highest energy of people are. And we used to think it was love. I even thought it was love for a long time. But they've actually discovered that the highest frequency a human can vibrate at is authenticity. What does that mean? It means speaking your truth. It means speaking your feelings. It means being in your authentic expression. And will that trigger people in the kind of monkey see, monkey do pattern? Yes. But that's kind of your role. Because you are here to be fully, authentically, 100% embedded in yourself. Now, we can prioritize peace, right? We're like, I don't want to get in debate with family at dinner, or I don't want to get into this. That's okay. But what you are doing is you're anchoring and you're standing in your truth, right? So I'm going to just show this real quickly. So a lot of times in society, I'm just going to, this is Steve. Okay, let's just call him Steve. Steve <laughs> grows up and he's kind of told different things. He's like, okay, get this job get that wife or that girlfriend, get that car, like live this like normal societal life. And a lot of people diminish what does their heart want? What does their soul want? What like are they actually here to create? So the mind is idolized of this like idea. This is his hair, but this is his ideas, right? This is what he's told to do. And so when he starts to go through some form of an awakening to realize what he wants in his soul, it could be a completely different life path that he was told, a completely different life path. And what can happen is there's two options. The first option is following this one because you're scared of what people will think, your family will think, all this sort of stuff. You're like, oh, but they love me. But the truth is you cannot neglect your your yourself in the new earth because the new earth is not about love and light and rainbows and unicorns. It's not about people pleasing. It's actually the opposite of people pleasing. It's brutal honesty. And a brutal honesty means casting light on the shadows. It means casting light on what you have been neglecting and denying within yourself. So if you feel there are parts of your life that you're sweeping under the rug, now is the time to fully face them with your eyes and choose a different trajectory. Choose a different timeline in your life, in your reality to succumb and move into. Because what will happen is it's not going to be this simple shift. It's, it's going to be beautiful, but it's an energy that is casting onto earth. Let's just imagine the reason to earth. The drawings aren't the best today. What's starting to happen is it is going to shine light on everything that you are not looking at, right? So if we think about the way the world is kind of going, people are like, well, the world is getting crazier. The news is getting crazier. Like all these things that are happening, in my personal opinion, this has always happened. All of this stuff that we're witnessing is just being seen more and more because what is happening is light is being casted on earth. Light is being casted on what is. So we're able to see it. So it's like having a spider in the corner of your room, right? And you're scared of spiders. And then you turn on your light and you see the spider in the corner of the room. You're able, that, that spider was always there, but you didn't see it because it was in the darkness. It was in the shadows. 
So new earth is about shining light on the earth and the things that are not being shown to society and also a collective awakening on the way the reality is playing out and that how most people don't want to be living the way they're living. They don't want to be relying on Red Bull and Coca-Cola to get them through the day. They're going to question the bigger picture of like, why am I even doing this job? Why am I even doing these things? You may even feel that in your body, a sense of nine to fives, you're struggling with this. There will be a time now where these things are going to start crumbling. It's... Um, I'm aware how crazy I may sound to some people, <laughs> but I'm just going to show people this video in 10 years and they'll understand me. But okay, so that's essentially what it is for the new earth. It's shifting into truth, into authenticity. And I believe that is of the highest um, expression you can. So again, we're just going to quickly go back. Again, if you haven't watched my new earth video and you don't understand new earth, it's going to be harder for you to understand this. So I recommend you go back and watch my other video um, on what new earth is, because I think that's going to be the most important video you watch. And it's also going to be explaining everything about community, about partnership, about unity, about um, new spiritual laws. Because one thing I really touched on in that video is that all these old, all these old teachings like law of attraction and um, they're not working for people anymore because what's happening is we were we were in a third density world which is very material is very much like this and then we're in a fourth density which is thought so 3d is like physicality 4d is what we think but 5d is heart energy it's soul energy it's creative energy it's not something to do with thought and so what we're starting to understand is that the core of earth is vibrating at a certain frequency and people are starting to okay this i'm going all over the place so i hope people are like able to pick up with this we were in a third density state which is where all these law of attraction teachings were made all these sort of books that were like resonant at some form in time but what has happened is earth is moving into a fifth dimensional state and you will see this in the frequencies if you check what's happening with the fifth dimensional frequency is we are realizing the earth isn't just this random like if you ever want to watch Pocahontas, that has a lot of truth in it. But if you think about it, a lot of people think the earth is just this thing that we live on and it's just dead. And the truth is it is alive. She is very conscious. She is creating food for all of us. She is growing on us. Like she is holding us all. And what's starting to happen is her frequency is raising. And because we are on top of her and we are a part of her, our frequencies are going to raise and they're going to be casted on everything that is inorganic and inauthentic. So if we think of the new earth, we think of um, like cities, that there's no trees, there's no fresh nature, there's no organic food. The food is not even food. Like the food they eat isn't even food. Red Bull isn't even, it shouldn't even be digested by a person, right? All these sort of things, we're going to start to notice everything in the kind of system is inorganic. It's kind of like, what is going on? And so it's your mission to shift into the new earth is to show up and embody that new earth that you you want to see that you want to live. And that has to happen through you following your truth, not denying what you are feeling, not denying what you are seeing, not denying what you are wanting to create. Okay. And this ties into another thing, because when I tune in purpose is in my opinion, the number one thing on new earth and it is so needed. And that is why I offer power activations because I want people to anchor and activate their power so that they can follow their purpose because purpose for new earth, is going to be one of the biggest things you do to shift as well. So we have truth and we have purpose. Purpose is needed because right now on earth, it's a bit chaotic. It's a bit crazy. And for people who are a bit more conscious and awakened of these things, your purpose is to make new light, new joy, new creativity into this world that will influence and impact the collective. So purpose is essentially you following. And I was having this discussion with a friend yesterday. Purpose is following your highest excitement. Okay, we're trying to write this way. That is what your purpose is. What lights you up? What expands you? And if you don't know, you can book a power activation with me because I will help clarify your purpose with you of some form. But following your highest excitement is what you're here to do. So if you think of the world as like um, rule books, like there's rule books happening on earth right now. Um, I mean, there's no guidebook we get on earth. Sometimes I think I'm like, I wish I just got a manual, like something, but we don't get that. But can you, okay, just picture I'm giving you a little book, a New Earth book. One of the main things on the first page is your purpose. And if we think of like law of attraction, which is kind of dissolving a new law is taking place in the New Earth, it's a fifth dimensional frequency and it responds differently than to thought. It responds to feeling, to activation, to embodiment. Not in the head and kind of walking around like, I am this. It's actually like embodying, like I am healthy and actually showing those actions to the universe, right? See the difference? 
So the new earth, like cheat code is this new frequency that's going to be beaming down onto us is going to respond to when we follow our highest joy and excitement. So acting like children, playing, laughing more, following things that make you giddy and light up, not this like veil of seriousness. That is where your purpose is going to be accelerated. Okay. You are going to be given a lot of like force that's going to support you. Okay. It's going to really support you. And also I want to say, if anyone has any questions in the chat box, please answer or talk and I will answer it. So that is what you need to do is follow your highest excitement. What lights you up? And if you don't know, that's okay too. I really don't feel like people, a lot of people will know. I've gotten a lot of comments from people like, I don't know what my purpose is. Your purpose could be a mother. It could be to be a mother, a father, to raise your child. It could be to smile at people when you walk. Like it doesn't mean you have to be on a TEDx talk. You know, it could mean that maybe you walk your dog every day and you always smile at people. That is a purpose of yours. Now that might be very underwhelming for some people to hear. I believe we have multiple purposes. I think I have 50,000 purposes, right? Every moment is a purpose because we're moving out of this old age of separating our lives and compartmentalizing them into different things. Like I have my relationship, I have my health life, I have my work life. And you're literally becoming a living and a breathing embodiment of your values, your core truth. And everything in your reality starts to shape shift. It starts to change because it's responding to how you're feeling, how you're expanding, how you're um, reacting and vibrating at. So following your highest excitement is super important. And then I will go on to the third one of shifting to your highest. Um, sorry, I'm reading the comments. Uh, the last one to shift to your highest frequency is actually community and connecting with soul family. That is a really important one because this is something that a lot of people uh, I've spoken to. I've spoken to hundreds of people on calls who've gone through awakenings and they live alone. They do everything alone. They're in hermit mode. This is part of the old earth. Um, new earth is of coming together and community and going through these experiences with others. And truthfully, and I'm going to share this from my own experience, who's, who, who has been someone that isolated and went within. And there was a time and a place for that. But you will only get so far if you are isolating yourself. You will only get so far if you are not connecting with other like-minded individuals. Because every human has medicine. Every human has a gift. Every human has um, a purpose to give you. And I'm going to write this down because this came through for me a very long time ago. Um, and it was these words, and I, I live by these words, which is love is my highest integrity. And one thing I was shown, I was getting like a healing session and this came through, was that every single person that comes into my path is a teacher. Now, my ego did not like this. So if you're like a spiritual person and you're like, oh no, these people aren't awakened or like, oh, like I don't want to communicate with these people. I'm telling you right now, when you tune into your heart and love, you're going to start to realize every person has some form of medicine to you. Maybe it's through them causing chaos in your life. Maybe it's them causing disruption or triggering, but it's showing something that you can move through in or improve in or expand in, right? I used to think that I just wanted this a very easy life. The truth is new earth is of expanding. It's accelerated growth. It's moving quickly. So understand that every single person has something to teach you but especially your soul family and spiritual people. And this is something that in the power activation that I do, I'm able to awaken the codes or the, the parts of you that are ready to call in those people. Because when you start to accelerate and commit to your joy, to your excitement, to your growth, you will naturally start to call in those people because you'll be vibrating at their frequency. You will be in an alignment for you guys to match because that is how the universe works. Nothing can come together unless it's a match. It's a frequency. There is some form of an energy. And what will happen is because your soul or your, your spirit, your heart is of such a, a vibrational frequency, imagine that's your soul, it's going to draw your, you to other people, even though maybe you have nothing in common mentally. Maybe you guys have like nothing in common. Maybe you don't even like this person, but your soul is going to pull you together because there's magic and there's medicine to be learned and experienced and expanded. So that is super, super powerful. And trust me, when you meet these people, you will just know them and they will transform and help your lives in any way. And someone commented, how do we meet these people? So for me, it started with going to cacao ceremonies and ecstatic dances and retreats. I just had to put myself out there in situations where I knew I'd meet these people. I went to bookshops, cafes. I traveled the world. I moved to all these different countries to meet different people because I knew that they were not just going to be sitting in my bedroom. Now saying that I'm quite blessed because I have a following online. So I had a lot of people message out to me who became my friends. But for the most part, you have to put yourself in these situations. And the more you start to live and breathe 
this ability to create more, to attract these people, to to show the universe that you're willing to want these things, to actually meet them halfway, meet the universe halfway, you will be rewarded. You will be rewarded. So that is essentially three ways you can shift into the new earth. Now, I just want to share one other thing because in case anyone missed my last video, um, I just want this understanding to be very clear is that there is over 8 billion people on earth right now, right? So there is 8 billion timelines. Now, a lot of people who don't know what timelines is, um, I'll give you an example. Let's say you're a woman in your forties and you had a boyfriend from college and you broke up with him. Okay. If you decided to stay with that person, you would have a completely different timeline. You could have had kids with this person. You could have had married with this person. This person might've cheated on you. I don't know. Or maybe a timeline when you got offered a job and you decided to take it down to go for a dream, like a, to travel a world. Like, I don't know. If you notice that like one choice can shift the whole trajectory of your timeline, of your lifeline. So timelines are essentially the probability that anything can happen in your reality coming down to your choice right now in this present moment. So if we think about the world and that there's 8 billion people living on their own timelines, already there is 8 billion timelines. But in my opinion, there's infinite timelines. Your reality can go any way you desire, right? It is infinite possibilities for you. So understanding that on earth, on the new earth, which will start in 2024, but I think really it will start to ramp up in 2025, um, and I'm even hearing for 2025, it'll be about goals and st strategy and alignment. Um, but for this, it's understanding that there's going to be a great timeline split. So it's going to be one way where you're going to start to find your community, your purpose, health, the world's going to start shifting, systems are going to be crumbling. There's also going to be the other side of people who think you're absolutely crazy. They're going to think you are talking bananas. They will want to, um, they will think you're crazy. <laughs> of some some form but and it looks like a smiley face but what you really need to know is if you follow your heart and you follow your joy and you follow your truth and you know that you're living in highest integrity with yourself I'm telling you right now this stuff will be disregarded you you won't mind I'm, I'm telling you this right now you won't mind because you will have your soul family you'll have intimate relationships you'll have intimate connections with people you actually love that you cannot go back to a life where you're caring what people think where you're trying to live a life to please others, right? I'll give you an example. Um, it's like, I'm trying to think. It's like um, thinking of like this, I'm just making the story that I'm just like feeling the need to tell. It's like, imagine there's like a millionaire and he lives in the Hollywood Hills and he has a beautiful apartment and he has a beautiful partner and he's, he thinks, and he's realizing this is not it for him. And he, he peeks into spiritual practice and he goes through a massive awakening and maybe he decides to break up with his partner and he moves into the forest and the woods and so from society, they think he's absolutely batshit crazy. <laughs> they think he's crazy. They think he's a moron. They're like, why did you give your life away? Why did you let go of everything? But that person living in the woods has reached true peace, true living, because we're living in a sick society that thinks it's normal to be overworked, overburned, overstressed, over chronically pain, sick as well, all the time, illnesses. That's all normal. So when you do something like connect to nature, cut out the noise, live in integrity with love. People think it's absolutely bananas. They think it's absolutely crazy. But you will be on such a peak state of joy and love that you will not be concerned of what they think anymore. In fact, one of the most important things you will have is compassion. Because you will start to understand that a lot of people are actually, I mean, all the society are lost. We're all lost. We don't, no one truly knows. But You'll have compassion for humanity because you'll start to realize that they're on their own path, their own journey, and they'll respect you respect them, but make sure they respect you too. I think that's important to state because a lot of them may want to bash you and, and it's important for you to go, well, if I respect your life, you respect mine. But that is essentially something that is, is going to start to happen more. It's following your own integrity, following what you want, and also creating that vision for yourself that you were planted, right? So again, book that power activation if you want to manifest that vision, that purpose, that lifestyle that you're wanting to create, because it is possible. It's about following your highest excitement and understanding how to work with your energy system. One, like learning how to work with this new earth energy within you and how to allow it to work for you. So if you want to check that out, link um, is down below. 
So I think that is everything for today's video. I'm going to do another video on Wednesday. So let me know in the comments what videos you'd like me to talk about. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up again and share it with a friend and comment down below where you're tuning in from in the world. I love seeing your comments and seeing where everyone is from. And I think I will leave it there. So yeah, I'm sending you love and I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye guys.